Oliver, thank you all for joining me today on Pop Culture Unplugged. Thank you. I'm uh, I'm excited to be here. Scientizer, my friend. We just had season seven recently uh, premiered on ABC. Uh, pe- people were been waiting for this show to come back. Uh, what do you uh, What are you hoping they get out of this season now that it's in? Yeah, it's uh, it's been a long time coming. You know, season six ended. Uh, I think we aired the last episode May of 2023. So so you know, it's about nine ten months off the air. Yeah. Um, and I think people are excited because. You know, we post these behind the scenes and stuff as we go. And, and obviously we have these, you know, the trailers and the posters come out and it, and it looked like it was going to be a big, explosive, uh, high octane start to the season. And I I, I hope we delivered. What do you think? What are you viewers going to expect with your character, Buck? What could you tease us with or tell us a little bit about? So we uh, at the end of season six, we had Buck uh, in a new relationship. Yeah. Um, but at the beginning of season seven, we have quickly discovered that he is, uh, he's now single. Um, so he is, uh, you know, getting back amongst it and, and figuring things out. He's, he's in his early thirties and, uh, he's trying to push not too hard for some professional advancement and, uh, and I guess some personal ones too. Yeah. What's great about Buck too. He's gone through like a significant growth throughout the series, uh, how do you think his journey is going to continue to evolve? Yeah, uh, in the early seasons, he was pretty reckless um, and very kind of, uh, I like to describe him as gung-ho. And he's, he just calmed down a little bit as as we've mm-hmm. gone throughout the years. Um, and I think this season is much of the same. Um, you know, he he kind of has fallen into this most co-parenting role with his best friend. Um, and so that that's a big part of his life. And I think that's, helped kind of steady him and provided some stability. Uh, so, so I think, yeah, he's just kind of growing into an adult rather than like a big man, baby. Right. Uh, throughout the seasons also, like what have you learned for yourself? Like what have you learned playing this role? Uh, in terms of like being a firefighter or you mean just in general? Just in general, a little bit of everything, yes. Yeah. Um, well, you know, it's funny. So my journey kind of mirrors Buck in a lot of ways, right? So when we started the show, Buck was the rookie into yeah. into this house. And, and when I joined, I was in terms of like acting experience compared to the rest of the, the rest of the cast. I was also kind of the rookie, right? I was the greenest of the bunch. And, and so we've kind of grown up a little bit there together. And those lines have been a bit blurred. And, and we've both come to understand our own worth a little bit and what we can bring to the table and and i think you know kind of as i describe and we both kind of just settled down a little bit and uh taking it all in and, and not try to push too hard but just start to enjoy the ride what do you think about their like the relationship with buck and eddie you know like uh, a lot of the fans have like pressure they have like strong opinions about that relationship yeah they do um but you know listen I'm all for it. Like, I think that's a great thing. It's it's great that people care enough about the show and about the characters to have yeah. strong opinions. Um, you know, I, I've gone through different phases over the years of, of really wanting to tiptoe around what we say uh, because we don't want it to be interpreted wrong yeah. and get his hopes up. And and then other times where kind of we've landed, uh, landed at the moment where I think like we just have to make the thing, you know, you, you can't have the audience interpretation in mind too much when you make it you have to make it almost in this closed little box then you put it out into the world and and people can take from it what they want and it is great that people do take different things from it right that's the point in art whatever level of art you 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 think you might be making is you want different people to, to to look at it and take different things and feel different things when they watch it one of my favorite things on the show is uh, Buck's relationship with Bobby, kind of like a father son duo type of thing. Like, uh, how 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 would you describe that uh, bond between those two characters? Yeah, it's it's this fine line, right, between just professional mentee mentor, yeah, yeah. And, and but then as you say, there's absolutely a kind of father son relationship, and I mean it, it mimics what me and Pete Krauser, who plays Bobby, what we have in real life. You know, I mean he's he's become a, a really great friend of mine, but also somebody that. If I had career uh, questions or, or concerns or just wanted to know anything, you know, business side of the industry um, can sit down and talk to him. And he's, you know, wise and, and and has been on a lot of TV shows. So, yeah, it's 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 been really nice to have that kind of 
Buck and Bobby relationship mirrored in in Oliver and Peter. What's the best advice he's given you offset about career acting? So so uh in in the first season, right? So the first like three or four episodes of the season, they're very buck heavy. Mm. Um, and I was like, yeah, I'm on this new TV show. I'm like, I gotta have a bunch to do. And then this episode came where I did very little. Um, and I and I said to him, like, hey man, do you think I messed up? Like they gave me a bunch <laughs> of material to work with, and now I'm quiet in this episode. Like, did I did I blow it? And uh, he was, he was in his, I think he was 52 at the time and I was 26. And he said, listen, I get it. He said, when you're 26, you always want to be thrown the ball. You know, you want to show what you can do. So when you're 56, when you're 52, uh, sometimes it's nice to sit on the bench. Uh, so, so, you know, that, listen, it's, it's great when it's busy, but it's, it's important to take in those restful times as well. Mm. Uh, filming this and everything, you know, let's tackle some intense, like emotional, uh, scenes and stuff like that does it does it take any drain on you like does it bring you down sometimes filming those scenes i don't think i would say it, it brings me down in, in actual fact uh it's almost the opposite like the the deeper stuff or the the harder stuff to get into is what's kind of invigorating about it right like mm -hmm. you want heavy material you want to really be able to have the chance to to get stuck in with it you know that that's the, the those are the things that at the end of the day i'm like wow i had a great day like I really went there. I really, I really delved in as, as hard as I could into that. Um, so yeah, I would actually say it's it's kind of the opposite. That's the that's the most energizing aspect of it. What's a what's like a dream buck storyline that you maybe you'll see someday or tell the writers, hey, I want to try to do this. Do you have any thought about anything like that? You know, it's something that we kind of have touched on a little bit. Um, I would love to see a scenario where. Pete's character is, is uh, you know, steps aside for whatever it may be, like this season he's on a cruise um, and, and yeah. Buck is given some responsibility. Because um, mm -hmm. we, we've seen moments where due to other people being injured, he's had to step up and take that responsibility um, yeah. and done well with it. So I would like to see uh, some kind of situation where it's handed to him rather than uh, there are no other options. Um, mm -hmm. so, so yeah, kind of given that, respect and that the, the faith put in him of hey you're uh you're ready to uh to handle this on your own yeah a few years ago we saw your character do a crossover now that the show's on abc could so something like that still happen have there's been talks about yeah i that? mean i mean um i don't think with the 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 show that we did previously crossover with but there is certainly going to be crossovers um you know we have one this season um it was recently confirmed that we are going to have some crossover with the bachelor um, so, you know, so being being on ABC just opens us up to uh, a whole boatload of shows that we can cross over with uh, that we didn't have that potential with before. How many episodes are we expecting this season? We're just doing 10. Um, you know, we had obviously a, a strange year for the industry last year. Right. And uh, so, yeah, kind of truncated season this year where we'll, we'll, we'll just get through 10. But it's actually been quite nice because I mean, we usually do 18 uh, but by doing 10, it's kind of meant that every episode is great. Like it's filled with really good, juicy stuff. So, uh, yeah, 10, 10 episodes, but I hope 10 very exciting episodes. Have you finished filming all 10? No, we are on episode seven currently. Ooh. So uh, so we still got a little while to go. So so actually, when I say 10 great episodes, I can only guarantee seven great episodes. I haven't read eight, nine and 10, but, uh, but I, I like to think they'll be every bit as good. All right. So one through seven, is there a specific episode? Obviously, you don't give us spoilers uh, that you can't wait for the viewers to watch about your character or about a certain storyline. I'm really excited for episode six. Um, it's uh, I think it may have been announced. In fact, I know it has. It's it's we've kind of been building up to this wedding between uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt and Kenneth Choice characters. Um, so, 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 so episode six is the wedding, but it's very far from a typical television wedding in, in typical 911 fashion it's uh filled with chaos but i think it's it's really you know it's it's heartfelt and heartwarming but um but also a lot of fun and uh and yeah as i say infused with plenty of chaos amazing amazing as an actor also like how do you like uh how do you balance the intense drama of the show especially where there's like sometimes we have some humor in it also yeah which is great you know we we talk yeah. about it on set sometimes that like we have the ability on the show to play so many different things yeah. um 
So it's it's just fun more than anything. And and there's such a specific it will be hard to articulate it, but there's something in the scenes, in the way that it's written, that it's so clear what tone we're going for in, uh, or, or the writers are intending for each particular scene. Um, so you're right, there are some, you know, really quite outlandish comedy scenes. And then there are other moments that are really grounded and heartfelt and and, and dramatic. And so as an actor, to get to play through all those different tones on the show is, it's a lot of fun. But I also think as an audience member, it means that you can kind of watch a show in any mood because there's usually something for you, uh, wh whatever you fancy watching. Amazing. Last question. 911 has a dedicated fan base. Have you ever run into like a fan in the streets or anything and have they stopped to talk to you about Buck or anything? Yeah, you know, it's it's um, it's a show that obviously has quite a large audience. So, um, yeah. so yeah, it's, it's nice. You know, I, I have never had an interaction meeting somebody in the street that hasn't been lovely you know it's always been uh sweet and respectful and um it's nice you know it's it's a feel-good show and it reminds me that that is exactly what it's doing it, it seems to make people feel good and feel hopeful and, and that's the kind of energy they give me back and yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a joy like truly it is amazing oliver how can the listeners of viewers find you on social media and i'll keep up with you i know you've been posting pictures of the season coming up and everything Yes, sir. You can find me uh, just on Instagram. That's the only one I'm on. And it's Oliver Stark, uh, two Ks, uh, because somebody else had Oliver Stark with one. So uh, so, so I'm there. And yeah, we, you know, we like to post little bits in, uh, of, of the season as we go. So uh, yeah, that's where you can find me. Amazing. Oliver, I want to thank you for giving me a few minutes today. This was great. Thank you so much. I appreciate you having me.